Hello, and let's get started with your first cup boy to listen. This is a little clip of me and Lovina playing at the park. I figured it'd get you inspired a little bit to do some capoeira. And uh, I wanted to show you a few sequences that we went over with Professor Bocal this week. And it's three of them. I want to show you the two parts of Bimba sequence number one. And then also I want to show you another cool sequence that is simple but at the same time complex enough to where I think it will keep you entertained and challenged for a little bit. So let's get into it and go into Bimba sequence number one, part one. And you will see this one starts with a Malua di Franchi. Then you will go back into bass, step over, go back into the Jenga bass, do a Malua di Franchi, and now go into an Armada, and then into a Negativa, Hole. So I'm going to show it to you one more time. I'll show you a few details. You'll see it's a Melody Frenchy. Back to bass, step over, then do again a Jenga, Melody Frenchy, Armada. And you will notice that with the back leg is the one that comes to the front to do a Negativa, and then you hole into it. So let me go ahead and show it to you with a little bit more speed. And again, notice the important thing is the Negativa will come from the back, and then you do a hole. Now let's do bimba sequence number one, part two, and this is the opposite side, and this one actually starts with a cocorinha getting out of the kick, so you'll notice cocorinha, then step over to the side, go back to bass, go into cocorinha again, and now you will kick bensal, go back to bass, and then do an au. So now I'm going to show it to you again, showing you a little bit more details. So again, you go into Cocorinha, step over, back to base, do a Cocorinha, bend sound, back to base, and then step over to the AU. Now notice that the AU actually goes into the same side as the kick that you did the bend sound with. And so again, now notice that the inside leg is the one that does the bend sound, and then you will land facing the other way. So I'm going to show it to you one more time with a good speed, kick, back to base, and I will into the same side of the kick and you'll be facing the other way. Now let me show you one little detail. When you do the second cocorinha, you will kick with the inside leg, then go back to base, step over and do the AU into that same leg and then you will land facing the opposite side, which is where your opponent would be. Again, you go into Cocorinha with the inside leg, you will go ahead and kick the bensam, and with that same leg you step over and do an au, which is what throws most people off, and you face the other way. So now I want to show you something really cool. Let's go ahead and put it together and with the magic of film, I will make it look like I'm fighting myself, sort of. <laughs> and here I'll go ahead and show you both sides, just the whole sequence together. And now I want to show you one more really cool sequence that we learned over the weekend. And this one's very similar to the one that we learned with the bimba sequence. As it starts sort of the same way, but here you'll do a melo di Frenchy, and as opposed to going into an armada, you'll do an entrada di armada, and then you'll do, actually do a fake quichada into a negativa, and then you'll hole. You'll step over and then go ahead and do a melua di compasso. So let me show it to you one more time because it gets tricky towards the end. So you'll start with a Melua di Franchi, which you'll land back into the base, step over, back to base, Melua di Franchi, look for the Enchada di Armada, fake Quechada, see how I lift my leg, and then go ahead and go into a Jolet, 
Now, this is an easy way which I want to show you. Before you learn the Melua, you can pass at the end. It's good to just practice by stepping over. So you'll notice we'll do there, fake Kishala, lifting my leg, go down into Negachiva, step over, and then just simply Jinga, just so you can practice it over. Then the second time, what you go ahead and do is you will go ahead and do that with the Melodji Compasso at the end. So notice, fake Kishala, go down, do a hole, step once, then step a second time, and then do a Melodji Compasso and release that kick. Now I'm gonna show it to you one more time. Now I want to show you one more way if you want to go ahead and challenge yourself which is without doing two steps after the hole into the Melodji Compasso and um, you'll see in the next sequence how that happens. So we'll go ahead and do again Melodji Frenchy, Jenga, then step into Melodji Frenchy, Entrada Germada, Fake Quechada, go back and then do only one step over into Melodji Compasso. As you see, I can lose my balance on it a little bit because it's a little bit harder and I'm going to show it to you one more time for the detail. Feel free to slow this down later on. And again, now go ahead and do the same thing, but as opposed to doing two steps after the hole, see how I'm doing just one step over and then do a Melodji Compasso. And there you have it. So I'll show it to you one more time. For me, it's easier doing it with the two steps, so I'm just going to show you that way. So here I'm going to show you the sequence a few more times for you to check out. And I am done. And so, Alegria, you mentioned this week that you really wanted to go to the Bachisado. Here's your tool, and uh, I will definitely help you out. There's nothing that will make me happier than to see you go ahead and get your next cord next year. But I know you're going to have to work hard for it, so I'm going to post a little challenge to you. I will more than gladly send you videos on a weekly basis for you to go ahead and practice while and only while you can't absolutely go at all to the classes but I will only do it if you're actually able to show me that you're working on them. So for you to do that, I want you to go ahead and grab your camera phone and, gr and uh, go ahead and record yourself while you're doing the sequences for me to go ahead and see that you've done them. You don't have to be perfect, you just have to be able to do them. And uh, I will go ahead and send you the next video. And again, with the best of luck, and I'll send you a big, big hug, and uh, I look forward to seeing your video. Bye.